One especially beautiful day on planet Eris, strange, delicate seed pods floated to the planet's surface from somewhere in deep space. The pods were absorbed into the rich soil of Eris and eventually grew and blossomed into beautiful flowers. The white and pink blooms fill the air with a fresh, clean scent. The people of Eris were thrilled by these gifts from the heavens and could not know the secret the flowers held. Flowers? Where did they all come from? They're so beautiful and smell so good. Imagine that, flowers on the desert. A miracle. So these are the new flowers that have filled our planet. Thank you. Mmm. Oh, they smell so good, Mousy. <laughs> flowers? You sent flowers to an enemy planet? These are very special flowers, Father. Very evil flowers, Your Majesty. How evil? Delightfully evil. Soon, all of planet Eris will fall ill from sniffing their aroma. Even the Voltron Force. Then you can capture the planet at your leisure, sire. A lovely idea. Hagger, you're always full of pleasant surprises. <laughs> Why the emergency call, Koran? Wait. Look at this. All over the countryside, these are the scenes we're picking up. Men, women, and children all passing out. What happened to all those people? Every person who smelled those strange new flowers has suddenly become very mm. ill. Oh. Poisoned flowers? sick people here at once and contact Dr. Gorma. Of course, Princess. Dr. Gorma, how does the situation look now? Not good. The sickness is spreading fast. It's reaching epidemic proportions. Have you any idea how to treat it, Doctor? Yes, but unfortunately we have no medical technology on this planet that can cure this flower disease. It's completely alien to us. Oh, but there must be some medicine. Yes, but it comes only from certain flowers that grow on planet Lyra. Flowers to fight flowers, Doctor? They can be made into a miraculous antidote. Hmm, I see. Well, we burned every last one of those flowers like you ordered, Koran. I sure hope that takes care of the problem and nobody else gets sick. Hey, no cheers for a good job? Burning those darn posies isn't enough, Lance. We gotta get medicine from some other flowers only found on planet Lyra. Sounds like a field trip for the whole team. Let's get down to the launch area and blast off for planet Lyra. We can shoot out there and get some of those flowers and be back in no time. Wait, planet Lyra has a powerful magnetic force that makes it impossible to operate our spacecraft there. You need special equipment. Oh, hmm. Forget it, Lance. We haven't got time to get special equipment. There must be a way. We gotta do something. What about my blue lion? Its home base is in the lake, and it's designed for use underwater. What's water got to do with it? I understand planet Lyra's magnetic pull loses a great deal of its power in water, and... <gasps> Voltron, we'll be back after these messages. And now... Back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Princess! A burning fever! 
<gasps> Flowers! Will somebody please get the doctor? What we really need are those flowers. Yes. I'll fly Blue Lion. See you later, team. Lance, don't try it. You need special equipment. I know. And I've got special equipment. Intelligence, charm, personality, good looks, and a rabbit's foot. He'll need every one of them. Good luck anyway. <laughs> Another visitor. More company? King Mag, the blue lion means it's Princess Allura of planet Eris. And it means the deadly flowers I rained on Eris have lured the princess into our trap. Seize her! I sure won't get any flowers down here. Gotta find a safe place to park this lion. Where would I most likely find those flowers? it. Tail down and heads up. This trip is sure no piece of cake. Speaking of food, I'm starved. What? Huh? Wow, it tastes just like honey. What? What? You are an alien intruder in our land. Yeah, I guess I am an alien, but I sure didn't mean to intrude, honest. What are you doing here? I came from a distant planet to get some of your special flowers. They're supposed to cure the strange sickness that struck our people. The Rose of Lyra is our greatest treasure. We've worshipped the flowers for generations and we guard them with our very lives. Anyone who takes them without permission will be punished. Then give me permission. Our people and our princess are very sick and need that medicine as fast as I can get there. I'm sorry. Only our supreme ruler can grant you that permission. Men, take him to the king. Huh? Please, just let me have a few flowers and I'll leave here quietly. You? Uh, this isn't your turf. It was you and the Blue Lion, and not Princess Allura. Why have you attempted this stupid deception? <clears throat> Majesty? Yes, you may speak, Fala. Your Majesty, this stranger needs our magic flowers to cure his people and his princess on planet Eris. What? Princess Allura is sick, so that's why you are flying her lion. <laughs> Your plan is working, old witch. The princess is down and we have one captive. Voltron is gone. <laughs> Voltron isn't gone yet. Our little friend wants to fight. I'll take care of him myself. I'm gone. Come on. Over your head! <laughs> <laughs> Fool! You 
forgot that the stones on this planet are highly magnetic. My dear Lance, it's goodbye to you forever. <laughs> the end of him and Voltron as well. No one has survived a fall from that cliff. Just to make certain, we'll find the blue lion and blow it up. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Now I want your medicine for the Princess Allura. Ah, yes, the lovely princess. But you understand the medicine does not come free. For gold? The Rose of Lyra takes a great deal of tender loving care, which of course is very expensive. Your father, King Zarkon, understands this. That is why he has paid me so much gold for his life-saving elixir. Forget it, you old robber. I'll get the medicine I need from him. You could do that, but I'm afraid you have a problem there, young prince. The medicine I sold your father will not cure the princess. What? That's not true. Oh, quite true. The potion I make for your father is far too strong. If you tried to use it to save Allura, it could be fatal. All right then, you old schemer. How much to save the princess? 200 bars of gold for an ounce of extract and not a penny less. You must have gold? Mm. Here's steel! <laughs> for you, a special low price. <laughs> You'll find me a lot harder to bargain with than my dear father. These are my terms. Order your men to load all your medicine onto my ships immediately. Of course. God, do as he says. Sire, sire. As a little gesture of goodwill on your part, hand over all the gold my father paid you. What? Now, since I have no further use for your flowers, I order them destroyed. Prince, have mercy. I shall carry out your evil command, sire. Deal crew. <laughs> Well, I made it to the lion, and I couldn't leave here right now. But first, I gotta find those flowers. Hey, I think I just did. Yeah, that's gotta be them. Stop! What are you doing? Get oh. away! <laughs> They hurt father. They're a nuisance. Let's knock them all out with our stun guns. It's that alien spaceship. I thought we'd seen the last of him. they needed and destroyed the rest. That's terrible. It means there's no hope for the people of planet Aris or Princess Allura. There's hope. Take these. They are seeds of the Rose of Lyra. Take them back to your world and plant them. Care for them well. They will grow and give enough medicine to cure the ones you love. I promise I'll come back and replant the flowers here, Farla. Oh. Hmm. Farla, listen to me. I'll get you to your people. Then I've got to get back to planet Aris fast. Attention, planet Aris. I have not only destroyed the flowers of planet Lyra, but also your blue lion, so hear me. Now I alone have the medicine that can save Allura. Do not resist me. Open your gates and prepare to welcome your conqueror. Prince Lotor, it's the lions. Without all five, they cannot merge. Alone, they're just useless pieces of space debris. Send out the new Robies to put an end to Voltron forever. Look out! 
out, Hunk! Nanny? A terrible noise! The castle is under attack! I've got to get up. They need me for Voltron. But, Princess, you haven't recovered from your illness. It isn't wise for you to get up. The doctor ordered you to stay in bed. Headstrong. Watch out! I hope you saved something for me. Watch out, Princess! Princess! What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be sick in bed. Oh, why don't they form Voltron? He could end this. They can't. Lance is missing. He never should have taken off alone. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Hold on, Keith! Help is on the way! Hey, the Blue Lion! Lance made it after all! He's back! Yeah! Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlocks. Diatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go! Let's go, go Voltron, Voltron Force! Force. Feet and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. Time to send this rogue beast to the junk heap. Spinning laser blades. Ignite lion torches. Good work, hunk. Now fire stingray missiles. Great shooting, team. Form Electro Saber. Ready. We don't have much time. Form Blazing Sword. One more for the Voltron Force. Princess Allura and her planet were within my grasp, except Voltron stopped me again. Lotor. Father. You attacked planet Lyra without my permission. Why? That greedy king was holding me up for gold, but I got his gold and got rid of his flowers. You destroyed the roses of Lyra, but you know their medicine is the only thing that has been prolonging my life. Don't worry. Of course I brought enough flowers and medicine to keep you going for a long time. And I got all of your gold back, too. What a thoughtful gesture that was. You're a loving son. <laughs> 
And you're a fool. This is a happy day. Thanks to the flowers from Lyra, everyone is healthy again. And Lance gets a special reward for that. Shh. <laughs> hey, don't forget, I was pretty brave too. A special kiss for you. I gotta be going. Go? Where? Back to planet Lyra. There's something I have to do. I promised Farla I'd plant these seeds. I'd like to go with you and help keep that promise. You? This planet owes Farla a great debt. Mm -hmm. Lance kept his promise to the beautiful Farla, returning in his space lion to the planet where he would replant his bag of seeds. Soon the fabled rose of Lyra would bloom again and the people would rejoice. <laughs> <laughs>